Hey guys, um, I'm I'm going to make a video. Um, I'm going to try and keep looking at this bit of camera because <laughs> I keep looking at myself on the screen, but it's not. It's there. That I need to look right. So uh, I've I've been I've started a new project. Um, you'll see on the title. Uh, it's Wall or Titan. Uh, but it's an orc version of a wall or titan so it's going to be absolutely massive um and i'm going to talk through some of the things that i've gone through to make this wall or titan orc version um one of the one of the one of the major factors in it is we me, me and my friend uh john he wanted a, a, a titan wall or titan size beast to put onto the battlefield um we can make a model and make it up but then you you end up meeting people that don't like bending the rules and stuff do you uh because people if it's not in the rule book you're not you're not fielding it that sort of person okay so we've come so we've just me and john decided that we're going to build um a wall or titan okay and build it as a wall or titan with with the options it has Okay, but he will field it as an orc vehicle. Um, I don't know how how that that works. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, but that that's how he's going to do it, I, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. So most of you know, a wall or titan is about uh, twenty four inch high. Um, uh, yeah, so it's it's absolutely massive. It's it's the it's two stompers and a bit tall, if that makes sense. Um, it's twice as tall as uh, as oh god, I'm t I'm t you're testing me now. Um, oh, what's it called now? Um, hound war warhound is it? Warhound. I made a war. I converted a warhound. If you remember, go back on my videos and you'll see I converted a warhound. Uh, so yeah, so so it's twice the size of a warhound. Okay, and uh, so it's going to be a, a, a beast, an absolute beast. Now, um, the, the thing I've just discovered, and I've never, I've never, I've never discovered this sort of stuff before. So they, this, this, this was a learning process for myself. All right, when it came to uh, building materials. Okay, so so one of the building materials that I came across is this stuff. All right, and you lot probably know all about this stuff. It's this stuff's called foam board. Now, if you don't know, if you're like me, a bit, you know, you don't, you don't really venture further than plastic card. I, I've never really ventured, ventured further than plastic card. Then you won't really know much about this stuff. Now, now this stuff is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe I would have just discovered it. It's cardboard. Then it's got foam in the middle. Then it's got cardboard, and it gives it just enough strength to be really strong. Okay, so you can make quite good structures out of it. Now you can do it the slow way by using using PVA glue and sticking it together because it's cardboard. Okay, or you can do it the fast way. And the fast way for me was I've got a hot melt uh, glue gun. Uh, it's, it's it's up there on top of that cap. I, I ain't getting it, but it's a hot melt adhesive glue gun, and and you you can stick these bits together like that, and and they work perfectly fine. But then the trick is then is to cover it in plastic card, uh, and I'm going to show you in a second how I, how I achieve that. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this and try and say, "Hey guys, um, I'm I'm going to make a video. Um, I'm going to try and keep looking at this bit of camera because <laughs> I keep looking at myself on the screen, but it's not. It's there. That I need to look right. So." Uh, I've I've been I've started a new project. Um, you'll see on the title, uh, it's Wall or Titan, uh, but it's an orc version of a Wall or Titan. So it's going to be absolutely massive, um, and I'm going to talk through some of the things that I've gone through to make this Wall or Titan orc version. Um, one of the, one of the one of the major factors in it is we me me and my friend uh john he wanted a, a, a titan wall or titan size beast to put onto the battlefield um we can make a model and make it up but then you you end up meeting people that don't like bending the rules and stuff do you uh because people if it's not in the rule book you're not you're not fielding it that sort of person okay so we've come. So we've me and John decided that we're going to build um, 
a Warlord Titan, okay? And build it as a Warlord Titan with, with the options it has, okay? But he'll field it as an Orc vehicle. Um, I don't know how how that, that works. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. But that that's how he's going to do it, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. That's that's the plan. So, most of you know, a Warlord Titan is about uh, 24 inch high. Um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's absolutely massive. It's, it's, the, it's two stompers and a bit tall if that makes sense um it's twice as tall as uh as oh god I'm I'm, you're testing me now um uh, what's it called now um hound war warhound is it warhound i made a war i converted a warhound if you remember go back on my videos and you'll see i converted a warhound uh so yeah so so it's twice the size of a warhound okay and uh, so it's gonna be a, a, a beast an absolute beast now um the, the thing i've just discovered and i've never i've never i've never discovered this sort of stuff before so they, this 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 was a learning process for myself all right when it came to uh building materials okay so so one of the building materials i came across is this stuff all right and you lot probably know all about this stuff it's this stuff's called foam board now if you don't know if you're like me a bit you know, you don't you don't really venture further than plastic card. I, I've never really ventured venture further than plastic card. Then you won't really know much about this stuff. Now, now this stuff is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe I would have just discovered it. It's cardboard. Then it's got foam in the middle. Then it's got cardboard, and it gives it just enough strength to be really strong. Okay, so you can make quite good structures out of it. Now you can do it the slow way. By using using PVA glue and sticking it together because it's cardboard, okay. Or you can do it the fast way, and the fast way for me was I've got a hot melt uh, glue gun. Uh, it's, it's it's up there on top of that cap. I, I ain't getting it, but it's a hot melt adhesive glue gun, and and you you can stick these bits together like that, and and they work perfectly fine. But then the trick is then is to cover it in plastic card. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a second how I, how I achieve that. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this and try and say. So here we go. This is what I've built. Uh, the pausing thing didn't work, by the way. So I've had to stop the video and restart the video. So uh, anyway, so so this is what I've achieved so far. Now I'm not going to talk too much into that just yet. I just want to show you the plan. Now most of you guys know I don't normally work off a plan or anything like that okay so this here is my plan <laughs> all right it's gonna look nothing like the titan i am building because uh that's the picture i'm working from and i'm gonna just get it up onto my computer hang on diddly so that that's the picture i'm working from it's it's one of the lads in our group and I'll, i will give him credit at the end of this video um for it i can't give him it at the moment because i've got that many people uh who i know uh, keep messaging me and i, I get names confused I, like you all know i'm i'm a, I'm a thick in infantry soldier and I, my memory's not that great so when i get to the end of this video i'll give him credit um for this model which i am copying um i am i am a true believer in giving people credit when you copy their models i keep getting people people copy my stuff all the time right and i'll be honest with you i copy a lot of people um i copy games workshop i copy forge world i copy uh walter i copy all sorts of people i copy everybody but i try my hardest to give credit all right where credit is due okay so i will give this guy credit in a, in a bit um, at the moment it's quite hard to see what i'm achieving with this model because I've, I've had to make it a little bit different so it's a bit so it looks like my model all right but this here the reason why i've got this sat next to my desk all right because this is my modeling desk here okay um the reason why that's sat there is so i get a scale okay so at the moment oh, okay now it's heavy at the moment that's that's roughly the scale I'm at <laughs> can you see okay so 
what I've built at the moment is this part here. So from here to here, not including the shoulder pads, which are, which are going to be done next, not including the arms, not including the legs or the feet. Okay, so that that is that, All right? And you've got to remember, at the moment, this is all in my mind, what, what, what I'm building. Um, because, like I was saying a minute ago, nothing I build is to plan. Okay? So what you've got to imagine is, you're a little wimpy space marine, shitting his pants, and this comes over you, over the top of you, ready to stomp on your head. Okay? So that's the view you're going to get. Like that, looking up at it. So that's why I've done this jaw bit here like this okay and then the head what i'm going to have is some windows here with bars in uh maybe i'm going to have a round one here maybe a square one here I've not quite decided yet what's going on up there um but yeah that's roughly what it's going to be like okay right so back to the building process that how i've achieved this then i built the whole structure well this this stuff here, this pipe stuff, um, it's really it's like really thick drainage pipe. Get it? I got it from uh, from side at railway, if I'm honest. Um, we use it for running cables through. Um, so I, so I got I got I managed to get a scrap piece. Now that scrap piece is this bit here. Okay, so it's round bit here. Then what I did is I covered it. Sorry. Then I built this box bit here out of foam board. Okay, and glued it all together and stuck this on top of it. Um, I, and how I how I did this bit here is I met I, I I cut the square I cut the square bits these here and measured the round hole the round bit there and then cut it built it built it all up in, in, into like a box. So there's loads of segments of this. I, I think it's a, two segments, then a spacer, segment spacer, segment spacer, two segments done and then that was that was the body uh that was that part there okay um and then once i built it all up and started putting these bits on here just to give it a bit of shape put the head on here to give it a bit of shape then what i did then was i covered it in plastic card quite thin plastic card um i'm not entirely sure what size plastic card it was um I think it was this one here so so if that makes sense to you that's what <laughs> that's the plastic art i think it was the one down from that actually i think it was the code it was the code it was uh 20w so it was the one down from this one so i'm not, I'm not sure how thick this one is but end of the day it was the one down from this one and then i used this one for the plate so we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute so what so to stick it to the pvc piping what I do is I cut a piece of plastic card, so let's say that big, okay. I try and curve it so it's ready to stick on, and then I cover it in liquid poly, and then the PVC pipe. What I do then is I sandpaper it, so it get, get, gives it takes away the shine of the pipe, okay. Then I cover that in PVA glue, so both are wet, and then I place it down and I move it back and forth slightly. And then hold it until about 20 seconds and then it sticks. It sticks to the PVC piping. Now what that does, and as far as I'm aware, PVC and plastic card don't glue together. They don't. They've never glued together. But however, what this is doing, it's creating, because the glue is melting the plastic card, it's creating like an air seal um, and it's sticking it to the the pva glue uh, the pva piping now obviously you can see here that the the card is very thin so the the glue has actually started to melt the card there look when i was sticking it okay so you have to be careful but end of the day that's going to get covered up because the what i do then is once you've got a, a rough once you've got it covered roughly in a lay one layer a thin plastic card and then build it up with the detail and then put another layer on so, but this layer is this is this uh card now uh this one here so let's see so that's that's the one i use now this this one here slightly thicker card and i and and then i cut it into squares so what i'll do 
as you can see I've, there's numbers on here um, one two three four five six seven eight nine so that piece that segment there I measured that took took the card away cut it cut it cut it across snapped up I numbered them all and snapped them off and then took number one uh, roughed up the edges uh, with, a, with a sharp model knife and glued that on took number two did the same roughed up the edges glued that on number three glued that on and because you've already got a layer of plastic card here uh, on on the actual base model it's easy to stick these on then and then you can start making joins you can start gluing things together because if you look there it doesn't uh, it, it's not perfect all right but you're not going to see this these sort of lines uh, and, and bits and how I stuck the plastic card to the foam board again you can use super glue but I wouldn't advise it what I did I use again my hot melt adhesive glue gun and I try and I try to put thin a thin bit like for sticking this one on I, I got the glue gun and I, I glued around here like that as quickly as I could and then boom stuck it on uh, and and held it in place until it had glued because what happens now is when I start gluing uh, the layers of armor that are on here I, I'll get if you can see I can get as close to this as I can and I'll start gluing this on here so eventually this pit bit here will be glued to the plastic card which is here okay and it's the same as in these corners here look with the de with the detail you can see here where, where it's got little bits of gaps all right but again you're not gonna you know you're gonna notice that when it's painted all right, I might have, I'm going to have cables coming down here. I'm going to have pipes coming off here because this is going to be an arm uh, where the arm's going to go. There's, there's going to be a shoulder pad that's going to come across here. There's a shoulder pad coming across here. Not decided yet what I'm doing on here. Um, at the back here, these are the engine outlets. So I'm, I'm going to guess it's going to be sort of orc nuclear powered. So this this one here, it's, uh, it's, it's the top off of a... Um, Oh, God, I can't remember what they call them now. Uh, washing powder thing. Oh, not powder. Washing liquid thing for for thing and smell. Oh, I smell absolutely gorgeous. Right, so these these here, if you if you mention that engine block there, okay, that's good. There's going to be... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've just dropped it on the floor. Hang on. Oh, I can't... Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I expect lots of comments about my Crocs, but they're comfy. Um, and I'm in my house. Right, anyway, yeah. So so this bit here, um, I'm going to build three, two more of these. And I've only got one of these at the moment. So I've got to wait, wait till someone gives me one or the wife you finishes uh, washing. So so you've got to imagine, right? So there's going to be one here and then there's going to be one up here. So there's going to be three out, engine outlets. So I'm going to do like a grill thing going across there. I'm going to try and do that this morning. Okay. So on the back of here as well, there's going to be two rockets either side uh, if you follow if you're following me on facebook in our orc group um i've been making these this these massive rockets um there's because like i said like i said to you guys this this is going to be um part of uh well it's it's being built as a as a wall or titan so the, the options on it are uh, you don't get orc models for but you do um for the for the i don't know what, what army it is marines is it or whatever i don't know but they they've got this massive rocket thing that comes on on this apc thing and so there's going to be um I, I think it's two two so it might have one mounted here one mounted here on the shoulder so it, it'll sit like that and it's about seven inches long is this rocket so I, i'll have to build a rocket um platform for it here and here and it's got these big guns that sit on the arms that come down here all right and then it's got some little guns that sit in here as well that point outwards and it also has um six six of these shield thing things that when it when it uses one you take it off i i i, I really really don't know what what or uh, what the warlord titan has um he sent my, john sent me loads of stuff on it um but again, it's uh, uh, <laughs> I have to sit down and read it and really pay attention to it. And, and at times, I can't be asked. 
but I'll, I will do it. I'll read it when I need to read it. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So, so yeah. So the next part of this of this build is I've got to make a bracket. So I've got to make the the penis part here, okay, and then then that bit. So I'm I'm going to make it in different stages. Um, so so yeah, it'll be made. It'll be built in different stages. So so far, this has taken me two weeks um on and off to do, to get to this stage um it's a bit square at the back but that that'll you you'll you'll forget about that when i start getting um the the bits the yet the two the two more engine parts will come up here so i'll give it a nice curve round here with the with the anything uh, the 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 outlets here and then on the back here um there's i want to build two big tanks uh, like like a fuel like big fuel tanks um here and here um or, or a little bit higher up and um, we also got some of these um components here which uh on our website which is dadgreenone.com if you go on there these will be available on there eventually and these are like little like, exhaust outlet things here so I've not decided yet what I'm going to do. I mean, these these might come down here, might stick them on there, just to give them, you know, just to give it a bit more detail and that. But these are, these are pretty cool. So I'm going to going to use these somewhere somewhere along the model. Some you know, <laughs> I've not decided where yet. I'm trying to keep it as scratch built as I can, but I'm also trying to use as much stuff from our website as I can as well. So so yeah. Uh, that that that'd be cool, like big big super cannon on here or something like that, you know, up here or something. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, oh my god, I've waffled on nearly twenty minutes now. Right, guys, uh, that's it really. I'm gonna try and get this video uploaded, um, and I'll and I'll try and give the guy credit who who I'm copying. If I don't give him credit in this in this uh, video, I'll give him credit <laughs> in my next. Um, because uh, because obviously I've fucking hell I've not prepared at all for this. <laughs> I've just started waffling on. So, but I know you guys like like the talky ones. So there you go. Um, there you go. Look, little little Dakar thing that's coming out soon as well on our website when Trevor sorts it out. So yeah, right guys, that's it. Um, I hope you like it. Cool. Speak to you later.